up, y'all. I went back to Dollar Tree looking for more stuff for the dollhouse. I picked up that gold dress again and again and again. I also got a towel. This says bar mop towel. That's uh, just a basic white towel. And we got some socks. I was thinking we could give these items a little makeover. So get ready for Dollar Tree makeover. This is one pair of stretchy socks. It's in a nude color. The fabric stretches both ways, so that's good. I'm using a Barbie Color Reveal doll as a model. Let's see what happens when we just stretch this over her body. I think there's enough material here to make a quick little tube. So let's turn it inside out, place it on the doll, judge where we need to sew a line. For me, I think it's pretty much the center of the sock. So I fold it in half, tucking the toe inside the heel or the heel inside the toe. And I'm gonna sew a straight line going all the way down. I go back and forth to lock the stitch over the elastic. Then I stretch out the fabric and try to sew a straight line. Lock the stitch again at the end. Try it on the doll for size. All right, it looks like a pretty good fit. Carefully trim off the excess, remove it from the doll, flip it inside out. To make a tube dress, we can use for undergarments. I have another sock, so let's try it again. Only this time, I want it to be a little wider at the bottom, so I'm sewing my line at an angle. Well, as much as I can with this tiny piece of fabric. Okay, we kind of did it. Trim off the excess. Let's open it up and place the seam in the center. And we're gonna sew a tiny little curve going right over the seam. I'm trying my best to make the arch as small as possible. And my alignment is off a little. But let's see if it worked. Cut out the notch, flip it inside out to make a body shaper. I wonder if we can use a pattern. This is our doll underwear and sports bra pattern. I place the pattern from edge to edge, then cut it out. This fabric moves a lot, so you've been warned. On the curve for the leg opening, I fold over the edge and I'm sewing it down with a back stitch. And that's where I go in a little before the last stitch. Then I'm gonna go back in. Oops, sorry, dropped my needle. And I'm gonna go back in after that stitch, but before the previous one, and then go again before and then go back. So it's just repeated back and forth. Hand sewing allows me to have just a little bit more control over the fabric, especially with ones that I'm not quite as good at, like these super stretchy materials. And I'm just gonna take my time keeping my stitches as tight and close together as possible. After sewing both sides, it's a little wonky, but let's just keep going to see how it turns out. We're gonna fold it in half so the good side is on the inside, then stitch up the sides. And I'm using a straight stitch. And I'm gonna go back and forth a few times to make sure it's gonna hold. Once both sides have been sewn, flip it inside out to make a pair of undies. Take the other sock and cut a rectangle out of the center, fold over the edges, and sew a back stitch on the top and bottom, then fold it in half and sew it closed to make a matching tube top, creating our own little Skims inspired collection made with socks from the Dollar Tree. And if you want to add a little pinch in the center, we can just use a needle and thread to make a few stitches in the center, then pull it tight and tie it for more detail. Very simple designs here, easy projects for an afternoon. And now my favorite golden Dollar Tree dress. 
in our last Dollar Tree video, we turned it into a pair of harem pants with the top. Let's try to use our underwear pattern to make a bathing suit. First, I cut off the skirt and down the seam to open it up. Place the pattern on top and cut it out. With the good side facing down, fold over and hem the edges of the curves. This might take a little maneuvering. So both sides, fold over and hem the top. Then I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch in the back. So it has a little bit of give. This fabric doesn't have a ton of stretch, but it does have a little bit. Now we're gonna fold it in half. So the good side is on the inside, matching up the sides. Sew a straight line on the side to make a bikini bottom. Cut a rectangle of leftover fabric, fold over and hem the top and bottom using a straight stitch. Wrap it around the doll for size. Add Velcro so it can overlap and close. Next, let's cut a thin strip of fabric and the direction does matter. So if this was the dress long ways, I'm just gonna cut a thin strip about a quarter of an inch on the side. Pull it at both ends to make a string. Let's run it through the sides of the bathing suit. Tie a little bow for a little decoration. Let's try again. Cut out the pattern to make another pair of bikini bottoms. Cut another rectangle that can fit around the doll's torso. Hem the top and bottom. Wrap it around the doll for size and sew up the back using a straight stitch. To make a simple little tube, let's pinch and sew a little gather up the center to give our top a little more shape for a loose fit tankini. And we can just take the bottom and turn it a little so it's kind of twisted for another look because it's good to have options. I have one dress left. Cut off the skirt, open it up, fold it in half, cut off a section, remove the bottom hem, cut two more strips. These are probably a little over a half an inch. Fold over and hem the sides, trying to keep it as neat as possible to make a strap. Repeat to make two. Cut a scrap of fabric to get a rectangle. Fold over and hem one side, then fold over the other edges and make a crease just on the sides. Take the larger rectangle we cut earlier, lay it flat, fold over and hem the top and bottom. Take the rectangle with the folded over sides and I want it to end up right about here. So I'm gonna just flip it over where I think my line is gonna be. I'm gonna sew a straight line going across. To connect them, then we're gonna flip it up and sew down the sides, right along the edge. To make a pocket, take the handles and sew them onto the top. I placed mine right about at the ends of the pocket. Sew on the other strap to make handles, then fold it in half, Sew down the sides, flip it inside out to make a matching tote. I have a nice size piece of fabric left over. Fold it in half, cut a rounded edge. So we end up with a semicircle. Turn it over, fold over and hem the edge. Sewing around a curve is a little tricky for me. So I just go really slow and take my time. Then fold over and hem the top. Wrap it around the doll and decide where you want to place the Velcro. Sew it on. On the side that will be facing out, cut a wedge out of a scrap of fabric. I'm going to tie it in the center, then stitch it onto the corner. I sewed it on so the ends are pointing down to make a golden sarong that we paired with the top from our harem pants. But maybe there is enough fabric to make her a top of her own. I have some leftover scraps here. Let's cut out a triangle, then cut the bottom corners kind of flat. 
Place it onto another scrap and cut out four. Make a couple of those thin cords. Lay the triangles so the good side is facing up. Place one end of the cord at the top of the triangle. Lay the other triangle on top, sandwiching the cord in between. Sew along the top two sides, making sure to sew through the cord, then down the other side, leaving the bottom open. So we can flip it inside out and have the cord attached to the top. Then let's fold in the opening so it's all tucked in. So it closed using a blind stitch. Run the cord through an embroidery needle. Push it through the bottom of the triangle coming out the other end. Repeat to make two. Tie the strings around the doll's neck and back for a string bikini top, giving us a golden swimsuit collection this season. With all this swimwear, we might need a towel. This is the bar mop towel from the Dollar Tree. It's pretty thin. I like the little stripey design there. I open it up and lay it flat. I'm using our towel pattern. This is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. We'll put a link to the blog in the description box below. If you don't want to print it out, this is just an 11 by four and a quarter inch rectangle. I'm going to cut it a little larger because we need a seam allowance. Mine is more like five and a half by 12 inches. So a zigzag stitch going around the edge I made my line just a little bit on the inside to make sure it grabbed the fabric. Then fold over and hem the sides. My hem is about a quarter of an inch. You can do a straight stitch or a zigzag. I went with a zigzag, then just fold over and hem the top and bottom. To quickly make a large towel that we can fold all nice and neatly for our mini world. And it's a pretty good length for the dolls. I was able to make three doll-sized beach towels. I think it's safe to say our dolls are ready for the summer. So we made six different looks and a beach towel, bringing us to seven crafts. Thank you for joining us while we made seven crafts from the Dollar Tree. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!